Now it's completely obvious that Miriam is warming up to Kamugi. By the way, the little girl's name is Kamugi. You guys probably already knew that. I had to look it up because I didn't want to keep calling her little girl. I'm crossing my fingers there will not be a love interest between those two because that'll be just fucking weird. Because at the end, he says that he's just so pissed off when they play the game, when they play Goongi together, but he also enjoys it. He's not sure why. Now, that sounds like me and my girlfriend sometimes. So with that being said, I really hope this Ant King and this little girl do not hook up in the future because she will change his fate and it's obvious that, he, that she's going to be really important to him later on because the ending just fucking just tells you pretty much is hinting at it out the ass so they're going to be important to each other hopefully it's just like a friendly thing and maybe he finally beats her in Gungi or maybe he wants to you know overcome this challenge of you know trying to beat someone better than him because he's the king he's like the strongest in the land right now he wants to be the best at everything and maybe he will look up to her and respect her or something like that but if they hook up man i'm just gonna I'm gonna say fuck this. Moogie must be Toby Rama's daughter, man. When the king does this move that he's just sure that will win, she says, I invented this 10 years ago. It really shows that all of her life she has just been trained and been playing Gungi her entire life. Now, it's not exactly clear how old she is. I'm not sure if they actually mentioned it in the first episode that she was in, but I assumed that she was like around 10, 11, or 12. And she said she invented that move 10 years ago. So how old is this little girl actually? Oral own she Chitu, man. Moral is awesome. Although Chitu, I love his design. I love his character. Probably because I love fast characters. Because I'm a huge Sonic fan and I love some of the most recent Sonic games, even though many people don't. I just like the speed. So any fast character gets a pass for me. So Chitu was awesome. But the confrontation between those two, it was very strategic on Moral's end. Like, I mean, while he was reading manga, which was hilarious, by the way, it's hilarious that he's reading manga in the anime. But anyway, that aside, Moral fucking owned him. He stretched the smoke rope around his leg, and man, Chitu was just pounding away at it. Ultimately, Chitu fucked himself, but I really wanted to know what would have happened if the time did run out. We may never get an answer for that, but maybe Chitu was going to come back with something even better than that power. And the lion, I forgot his name, I think it's Leo, L-E-O-L, -E I believe I said. We're going to call him Leo in this video. But anyway, Leo, his ability, what we see so far, is pretty much a ripoff of Crollo. He can copy people's uh, abilities with these other variables about, you know, IOUs and crap. I really wasn't interested in that because Leo is not one of my favorite ants. He's not even in my top 10 favorite ants. So I really didn't give a damn about that part. But honestly, if the narrator did not say what he said about Kamugi being important to the king's life and, you know, me looking at the ending and analyzing it and whatnot, I would have thought that the king was going to take off her head in the middle of that explanation that she, you know, gave. But, oh, Butterfly Guy said, the king has never let anyone talk for that long. So that is showing a lot. And he's just, like, blowing it off like, ugh, whatever. It's not of any significance. But, I mean, the announcer said it himself, so some shit is about to go down. My prediction is they'll keep going at it and going at it because it's obvious that the king is obsessed and he will play this little girl until he does finally defeat her which may or may not happen and there may be some awesome conversation maybe some talk no do twos in there maybe the little girl will actually make him turn good which i wouldn't like really because i want to see the natero versus miriam fight but maybe she would change his outlook on humans maybe she would try to persuade him to be good because i'm not even sure if he if she knows what the fuck he's up to or what he looks like at all because you know she's blind so i'm thinking that maybe she just thinks that he's just a stand-in for the guy that died you may find out and she may be like no you can't do this you know do this for me it may be like the maria to shadow if you know what i mean the one human that he likes and the one human that keeps him in check that's just my prediction i may be way off like i said i do not read the manga so please don't spoil anything for me and what you guys think what do you think the king is going to do will he ever defeat her in Gungi? will she just keep whooping his ass over and over and since her whole life has obviously been about this board game what will happen if the king actually does defeat her will she just give up on life or you know will she try to find something else or will she never be defeated in the first place tell me what you guys think this has been jb the chia like comment subscribe and i'm out